Hello everybody, this is Maniac for Bricks and More. We're here today with my collection of video gaming t-shirts. These are ones that are about gaming from people in the community who play video games, uh, you know, share videos about it on YouTube, or something in vain of video games. Um, just like the list that I had over on Maniac for Bricks about Lego t-shirts, this is not a complete list of them. There's the majority of them, but there's still a few that are either in another load of laundry or just haven't found them yet for one reason or another. So um, there will be some update in the future where I get some more, I'm sure, like later down in the year or something like that, and those will be added into that video. So uh, for now, uh, most of these come from all kinds of sources. Uh, there are some that are from YouTuber merch sites. They could be varied from Teespring to Redbubble to Yeti to a whole bunch of places. Uh, I think Game Grumps has like their own or some offshoot one that's not like the not not glump not clumped in with the rest of them. But you know, fair is fair. Uh, a couple of these are from GameStop. Uh, I know a few that are actually missing from here from <laughs> that were from GameStop. Um, there's some of them I've picked up at conventions when I've met some of these people in person, which is really cool. Um, and I think one or two from Target and or gifts. Some that I've just received oh, throughout the course of the year. No specific holiday, no specific reason. But it was just like, hey, somebody found a shirt that they really liked and thought of me. And like, okay, sure, thank you. I appreciate it. I would actually do a video about my music t-shirt collection. But the problem is I don't really have many of them anymore. I used to have a whole bunch of them in high school, but I've outgrown most of them. And not that I've outgrown the bands. I still listen to the bands pretty regularly. And there's only a handful now that still fit me, like this Van Halen one I really like. Because um, Van Halen's my favorite band. <laughs> but anywho, um, some of them I still keep around, mostly because they've been from concerts that I've attended, and they still kind of fit well, you know, they're a little bit better on the material, because every shirt kind of has a different material to it, even if the uh, size ranges are about the same, the material might make it thicker or or not. So, let's get on with the list for video game t-shirts. It's a big old stack of them. I uh, don't know how many are actually in here until I fi finish <laughs> filming the video and then go back and count them, but uh, here we go for what we have. There is one of them that I don't have here, and I want to make a special um, honorable mention. It's something I've outgrown many years ago. In 2006, when I first started going to Boy Scout camp, I remember getting this t-shirt after a week that, at uh, Boy Scout camp that summer. And this was the 25 meters board, or level, from Donkey Kong the arcade game. So it has Donkey Kong, Pauline on top, and then Jumpman Mario on the bottom. Uh, have some barrels in between, something coming out of the oil can. It's cool seeing the whole thing on one plane and as a t-shirt. It's a cool design. The thing is, I don't really need to get a new one. I have one similar to that in this pile, actually, that still fits me. And I definitely see that all over the place. It's iconic, but it's something that can be replicated in so many mediums. It's totally fine if I don't have a t-shirt for it anymore. So, moving on from there. We'll take a look at all these. I'm not going to unfold all of them because I just folded them. <laughs> and trying to compile them and consolidate them. But, first one we have is Sonic. You've probably seen this one a lot. This is from Target. And it actually has Japanese text underneath it that reads Sonic. It's a really cool design, but unfortunately it's one of the few adult size ones that are out there, at least um, you know, through places like Target, Walmart, etc., um, regularly available out, outside of just looking for it online. I really like it, and I like rocking the pink, but I would like to see more designs. And I'm surprised they haven't made more of them after the release or around the release of Sonic the Hedgehog the movie, even with that design on there. I'm sure they have a lot of them for kid sizes. That always happens, especially for gaming and Lego. But you got to have something out there for the adults to enjoy, too. Maybe I'll find some other ones in the future. I didn't actually wear this one when seeing the Sonic the Hedgehog movie, which I'll talk about in a separate video, my in-depth thoughts about it. But if I see it again, I will definitely wear this. I'll probably wear this again on video, talking about Sonic in general. Next up, we have one from one of our own, Bricks O'Brien. And yes, while the name is, uh, is referencing bricks like Lego bricks and a little bit of the design for his avatar, it is a gaming channel. So 
appropriately have the shirt in there and has a design on the back for the kind of the logo which is pretty cool i still have yet to see if it's an attractive t-shirt as he's called it before <laughs> like the he, he's mentioned before mostly as a joke that it's a that it's a shirt for a chick magnet like oh this will make you attractive if you're wearing this out in public i've worn it at least three times over the past year still waiting on the results <laughs> but it's still a good shirt either way next up we have one from the gaming historian when i went to see him several years ago in a video game con in new jersey i believe 2018 no 17 sometime before that i'm not sure exactly which one it was um which gear but i'm sure i could talk about it sometime later when i get the research for it it's a channel I highly support, and I really enjoy um, the quality every time. Really good quality and research in all those videos, and through and through, very well done. Very important uh, information in all those, and very fun information about things I would have not known about before. It kind of got me on being more public about the obscure LEGO stuff that I collect in 2017, because that was something the gaming historian did every so often. He would have a review of an obscure gaming product. And it, was in, it was actually through one of those videos that I picked up the Sega Pods, tried them out, and traded them in sometime later when I felt it was, you know, I've done enough with them. <laughs> I didn't actually do a video for it, but I have had them for a brief period of time. This one is one of two shirts that I got back in October 2019 when I went to the Nintendo New York store. And this one has a little Nintendo New York on the back of it. I believe this one glows in the dark. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't tried it out myself. But I thought there was something on it that, that claimed that it did. And this is based on Luigi's Mansion 3. Even in the bottom corner you can see Luigi with a poltergeist. There it is. I was, I was showing the wrong side because actually on the front side of it, it has the logo that says Luigi's Mansion 3. And on the bottom... On the other side, it said Nintendo having the official tag. So that's a pretty cool shirt. I haven't played Luigi's Mansion 3 yet, but I really love Luigi's Mansion 1. And I never really had a DS to play Dark Moon until recently, so... I'll get into 3 at some point. <laughs> my, my man Luigi. I'm going to have a video about that at some point, because uh, I got a lot to say related to him. Next up, we have a Game Grumps shirt. It's not going to be the last one. Just the first one, and it's the classic Hey I'm Grump, Not So Grump, with the old designs of their faces. Uh, this was during a t-shirt sale. I think I made a video about getting a whole bunch of stuff from their store and the Starbomb store, and that was a cool one to find the old design republished, which I didn't know it was still available. I was like, oh good, this is a good opportunity to get that. Um, I didn't really have any real Game Grumps paraphernalia. <laughs> When I went to one of their concerts uh, the past year, which I'll talk about later in this video. We have one here from Scott the Waz. One, and again, not the last one, just the first one. Games on a Shelf. Established 2018? 2018. There we go. Um, kind of a riff on the GameStop logo for the simplistic color and the font choices in there. But this was based on a video he had about gaming stores in general. While there was a big highlight of GameStop in there, just because it's something he's more familiar with, it was still cool. And this was during a charity sale that he had with, I believe, the Pixel Empire. So it was good to benefit for a good cause while also getting some cool merch. And there's another one in here as well. The Angry Video Game Nerd I've actually met at a video game con in 2018? I think it was that one was 18. There we go. Uh, this was the one that took place in the Meadowlands in New Jersey. And I got a sweet shirt out of it. I had to pay for it. It wasn't something as a, as a promo or whatever, but it was still good to support him and the rest of the guys at Cinemassacre. And I've been enjoying a lot of their stuff outside of just the Angry Video Game Nerd series, like rental reviews. I really have fun with all the ways that they talk about them, all the different um, people they have as guest appearances on there as well. Um, I still have to catch up on February carry though. This one I got long, long time ago. Probably not a, not a fitting shirt at this point, but, oh, well, maybe it is. 
different tag than I thought it did. Um, Guitar Hero World Tour. This might have been a promo shirt. I know one shirt is either this one or another one that I got as a promotion, I believe, through Ego Waffles. I remember seeing something about that where it's like a box top kind of mail-in rebate sort of thing. And I did like Guitar Hero a lot. I will eventually have a video talking about all the rhythm games that I've experienced and even some ones I've uh, tried out recently. And that's why I got that. <laughs> It may even be, no, I don't think there's a Rock Band one in here, but I do have a mix between Rock Band and Guitar Hero merchandise, like that. Digital Press Clifton is um, the original location, but this one is from Digital Press Springfield. You can tell the difference because they have different colors. Clifton is red and Springfield is blue. Great people there, great events that they host. I love the way that the stores are both set up and I'm more frequent to the Springfield location so if you see in some of the other videos um I will either have footage from there or like that I was allowed to record there or I have um different video games with certain tags on them mostly from digital press really good place to find older consoles and games that I would have had a hard time otherwise finding and obviously not a sponsor for any of this stuff. I'm just a high, I'm just a fan for them. <laughs> this one I'm looking forward to in 2020 because I didn't get to go to the Completionist Legacy Tour in 2019 because that was happening around the same time that NJ Gamer Con was happening. And then immediately after that, I went to Brick Fair, Virginia. So ironically, the Completionist from California was in New Jersey. And then, while, uh, where I live, you know, and normally when I'd be in New Jersey, I was now in Virginia. So, I only got to see him for a little bit at NJ GamerCon for, um, for a day, about half a day. And, uh, I did upload a live stream about that on one of the channels somewhere about the Normal Boots Q&A. So, it was still good for that, even though it wasn't a meet and greet in person, like, face-to-face -face sort of thing. But I still support his work. I still support the channel and all of the staff employed with that one video gamer or the completionist, however they go by it now. This is one of the Yeti shirts that I picked up where it says completed. So it's kind of like the Project Red style of, of products, but it says completed and having the classic version of the logo. It's pretty cool. Hey, y'all, we're back again with Scott the Waz. <laughs> So this one having another classic logo about his YouTube channel and nothing on the back, but still a neat design. I think it's pretty creative. A lot of stripe work in there, but uh, it kind of it kind of lines up. It kind of reminds me of like an older console or like the NES or even Sega logos, um, which is fitting because he is a Nintendo fan, true and true. But he does also look into older consoles and collecting them, so for me, it, it's pretty fitting. Also do like the directional buttons that are in the C and the O. That's pretty cool. This is the one I was talking about before when I was talking about the 25 meter shirt. And the reason why I probably wouldn't get a new one in a new size. Because I already have an original Mario. Again, in this uh, original since 1981. And that one, I think, referring to the year of the arcade cabinet, Donkey Kong. And having the Jumpman uh, logo there. Or, it's not logo, sprite. That's the word. See, guys, I'm a gamer. <laughs> Can't wait for that one to get clipped out. And uh, put into <laughs> some other video. See, guys, I'm a gamer. Another Nintendo New York shirt, because it couldn't just be one of them. Uh, this is from the same time that I went in October of 2019. I've been, I've been dancing around trying to find like a good Splatoon shirt for a while. I really love the first game. I still have to play a bunch of the second game. And I wanted to get something uh, t-shirt wise to match. I know that Hot Topic used to have some. And then they didn't have either the right size or the right quantity. Or, you know, any of them in stock. So... It was nice to find it at the Nintendo store. This one having a little... has one squid on the back. Got the white pupils behind them. Um, and mostly just the different colors of squids that appear in the game. Which is cute. 
Very cool. I will say, with a lot of video game shirts and music shirts, there is a lot of them that print on black or gray. <laughs> Which, for me, is a lot harder to find what's what. Even the shirt I'm wearing right now is like a dark blue. And that's okay, but in a mix of shirts, it's going to be like, oh, I don't know where these are. So I have to try to divide them up more. This one I also got from a video game con, I believe in 2019, when I met the guys of Console Wars. And, a uh, special mention here, because... Uh, this is the one that I wore when seeing Sonic the Hedgehog movie. I couldn't find the Sonic shirt that I showed in the beginning, but I decided to bring this one. I thought it was still fitting, having the Sega versus Nintendo, you know, moniker going with their logo. So, uh, that's how that went. Nobody recognized it when I was at the theater, but it was still nice to take a picture while I was there. This one I found by surprise in a GameStop, and I couldn't say no. I couldn't. This is one of my favorite games from the NES, bar none, and probably one of my favorite arcade cabinets of all time. I'm not much of a fighting game player uh, every once in a while, but for beat-em-ups, there's a couple I look into. And one of them has to be the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Arcade. Or, on the NES, this would be TMNT 2, the arcade. Slightly different, but basically the same game. So I love the character select screen being represented on the shirt there. And, yeah. As one of my favorite games, might not have a shirt for it. I do actually have other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shirts that are unrelated to video gaming. And, again, have come and gone because of, you know growing out of them, or just the, the quality of the shirts. But this is stayed. Yep, third one from Nintendo New York in the same trip. These aren't like three separate trips, although I think I might spread them out more if I visit again. And this one is a like a faded red kind of design. It says, where everyone comes to play, established 1889, having Mario jumping in the middle, and says Nintendo New York. I thought this was a nice almost souvenir-like shirt from the store. I wanted to have something that was more represented or had something about the store itself, more than just the tag on the back of it. And this does the trick. The other ones, I, you know, are about things that I like, but they're not, as far as I know, screaming, hey, I got this at Nintendo New York. They just whisper it on the back. All right, we're almost all the way through this. This one I found at GameStop, and again, um, searched for around for a little bit before I found the right size for it. Detective Pikachu. I love this design. I love the colors and just seeing those colors in a lot of media lately just gets me accustomed to them. The yellow, the cyan, and magenta. It's great. And yeah, I'm using those because I'm thinking of like a printer. <laughs> so, uh, it is cool. Having a different poses, different, you know, combinations between Pikachu and the hat itself. I like Detective Pikachu a lot as a movie. And uh, TLDR about Sonic versus P Detective Pikachu for video game adaptation movies. Detective Pikachu currently stands as my number one for video game adaptation movies. Sonic number two. It's very close. I think, I, I don't remember if I rated Detective Pikachu before, but looking back on it now and still thinking it through... Somewhere between an 8 and a 9 out of 10. And for Sonic, somewhere between 7.5 to 8 out of 10. That said, I haven't seen a lot of other video gaming movies, whether by fans or in theatrical ones, but I've also been told not to watch many of them. And I still have to get around to uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie. I definitely want to watch that one. I mentioned this one earlier about Game Grumps attending one of their live events in 2019. This was actually the second to last event on their tour in New Jersey, in Asbury Park. So, very cool um, trip for me, for half a day, and um, it was a lot of fun there. I got, I, uh, I got a lot out of it, I got to meet some cool people there. Um, I saw Danny briefly after the concert, again, not quite a face-to-face -face sort of thing, because he was just kind of talking with a bunch of people, just like a quick hi and bye, but it was still, it was still appreciated. And that's a good shirt, a good memento from the event. Uh, there's also, it's not up here. Hmm. 
I should probably hang it up. But I do have a poster from the event signed by Aaron and Danny. And I have around here the Star Bomb CD. It was like, a, I don't know if it was a package deal. I think it was just like I grabbed each of them on their own. But it was still cool that they were all hand signed. Like everyone that was at the, the event was hand signed. That was really awesome. Another one from The Completionist. This is based on Super Beard Bros, one of the offshoot channels with more Let's Play series and having uh, multiple people that are playing. So one of them backseat gaming um, while the other one is actually playing. Sometimes two people, or usually th two people, sometimes three people, sometimes more, depending on what's going on. And it's done in the style of the classic popsicles. So having like the same kind of font to it and the design for... Gerard and Alex, I, I really like this thing. I have fun wearing this one, even if it's not to a gaming thing whatsoever. And just like, oh, those are cool popsicles. Nobody knows what they're for, but it's it's just a, an eye-catching thing. I did try out the Sonic popsicle last year. Maybe I should do other ones. Well, I have to wait around when the ice cream trucks actually come back. Anywho. Another Pokemon shirt. This was, I believe, from GameStop, and I found it on clearance. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them from GameStop I found on clearance, because they usually run a whole bunch of them like that. And it's simply a Pokeball. Nice and easy. Uh, something that I actually was planning for a video at some point. Some of you might know what I'm talking about. Gaming Dote will actually continue on this channel and that's something i briefly mentioned here with like oh i would like to wear this again on video well yeah it's gonna be for one of those um it's something i've been trying to work in for a while i was gonna try to do one around the time of the sonic the hedgehog movie but it was too ambitious so excuse me if i have to pull back a bit mario kart this was given to me as a gift i think it's really cool but i think most places you can find it like target or walmart um, pretty regularly, you know, a whole bunch of sizes. I like the style of it, even though I don't like the game itself. And I'm not saying I don't like Mario Kart. I do. Almost all of them are great. The almost is because of Super Mario Kart. I'm not really a fan of that one, didn't really grow up with it. I've played it several times, but it's something that's just taken me more to get used to compared to other Mario Karts afterwards, even if they are... Some, even if some of the other ones after that are dated in graphics in their own way. Yeah, but this one has really nice artwork. I'll give it that. And last but not least on this pile, kind of back where we started, talking about Donkey Kong the Arcade Cabinet again. Another shirt. I think this is also a Target, Walmart kind of uh, retail thing you can find. But it's based on the classic art for the cabinet of Donkey Kong, which I thought was really cool. And uh, fun to wear every once in a while. So, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed all of the t-shirts that I've collected. There are a few more that I don't have here yet. Again, they're scattered in some other pile. I haven't found them yet. Uh, ones of note. Um, there's a Legend of Zelda one that has like the classic NES um, emblem on it. Or logo, whatever you have it. Um, on a gray shirt. That one I picked up from GameStop. There's a neon one for GameCube that I have, I believe from Redbubble. I think it's called like Super Cube or something like that. I want to say there's an N64 shirt. I think it's in gray and it just has the N64 logo on it. But hey, I like the N64 a lot. So might as well go with that. Um, other than that, I can't remember if there's any other ones, but I'm sure I'll find them for the next video whenever that may be. So, thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Making some progress around here. And I'll talk to you guys later. I will see you next time with more videos. That's the outro. <laughs>